Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, aka Dragon Ball Z Bloating Battle. What's today's video gonna be about? Well, there's a Kid Gohan essay that I need to uh, level up. So today's video, I'm just gonna be grinding that stage, man. Trying to get it. That's all I really need to do now in Dokkan as, as everyone else. I'm just kind of just waiting for heroes at this point. Um, I could do Chain Battle, but... Nobody likes Chain Battle. I like doing Chain Battle because it's something different and it only lasts about five minutes. Um, but for the most part, Chain Battle is super annoying. <laughs> Especially when you look at like, oh, let me look at the top list. And then all it is is a bunch of fucking whales. And it's like, oh yeah, I guess I could use the Undokan formed of the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Rainbow. How did I never think of that? Fucking fucking whales. Anyway, that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can slap that like button and tell me how you're feeling about Dokkan nowadays. Um, a lot of opinions raging on about Dokkan at all times. Currently, my feelings about Dokkan is, it's okay. Let me see the hero's banner. I think the hero banner is gonna be bad, because I don't think I like that Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, and I think it's just gonna be Vegito. I really have a feeling that the first... The, for the first time in Dokkan history, the first Heroes Banner Dokkan Festival is gonna be a Vegito. So, at least it's technically a Vegito we've never seen, so I'm kinda like, eh, it's fine, whatever. I would, you know, if that's the best that Heroes has to offer for a Dokkan Festival unit, then I just gotta stop, you know, give up the ghost. Maybe Heroes was never that good enough to pay attention to. So, there's Krillin getting his shit absolutely rocked by the big sword. Um, no, no, maybe that's a little bit too mean to Heroes. At the end of the day, Heroes is fan service. It's fan service that I've just never been able to personally get into. Because um, it's not the main series, I don't know. Something about the fact that it's not the main series has always been a, um, a sticking point for me. Same thing goes for, good, uh, for GT. Super I'm a little bit better on because it's technically canon in a weird way. Not, don't, don't fight me over canon. You know what I mean. Currently Super is viewed as the, the right path to fix all the dumb shit that GT created. Even though, you know, Super ain't, ain't clean on that part. Super definitely has some dumb shit. But, Dragon Ball Super has Aurelia, so therefore Aurelia will- the Super will always be better than GT. I'm sorry, GT. Should have had Aurelia have her own episode if you wanted to be good. Instead of, I don't know, wasting some shit on a board game with a Tanuki. That's enough GT slander. It's bad enough that GT fans have to love GT. They don't need to hear me um, constantly bagging on it for all the dumb stuff that happens in it. So yeah, that's my current feelings about Dokkan and that it's okay. Uh, I'd fin I think that, um, I kind of wish that they would easy A the World Tournament Piccolo. Because the, the, the reason I'm doing it is for the Gohan that was specifically trained by, um, Piccolo. Um, he, get, he works great with a Piccolo. The problem is, is that there's not a lot of Piccolos that could be used with that. There's, like, no, like... Which is super annoying. It's something that's bad with um, uh, Dokkan in general. Is that there's certain things where they're like, use this team. Like, how do we not have a category for people from the, the Raditz slash the Saiyan Saga? That's crazy to me. That they'll make some bullshit um, category that's like, alright, which characters badly needed to take a crap? at this specific time and place. And it's like, well, obviously we need a category for that. But then when it comes to like, okay, what about the Saiyan Saga that basically defined how Dragon Ball Z, um, it, it was like a transition period of just like, this is how the manga is gonna go from this point on. Whether you agreed with the eventual changes to Dragon Ball as a whole is a different story, it's a different question. But there's no denying that like, the Saiyan Saga has its rightful place as being the transitionary arc into the... For, with, without that specific, like, um, arc, you don't have Frieza. Like, you, they had to prepare you for the culture shock that was going into outer space by having some alien dudes come to the planet and be, um, 
you know, what they were, Saiyans. They introduced the idea of Saiyans, like what they were, what they believed in, the idea of a Super Saiyan, stuff like that. Like, it's super important to, um, to overall, um, Dragon Ball Z that it's kind of crazy to me. That, like, that's the place where Piccolo stops being a dick and stops trying to kill Goku because he, um, murdered the shit out of his dad. You know, there's plenty of stuff that happens in that specific arc that I guess a lot of people will either discount or like, Piccolo blows up the fucking moon in a filler arc? Come on. Actually, I don't know if that... I have to read again. I'm pretty positive Piccolo destroyed the moon in the manga. One moment before someone corrects me on this. I'm just gonna type in... You look at look at this KO screen for a bit. Piccolo... Piccolo... Destroys Moon Manga. Yeah, he destroys it in the manga too. <laughs> Actually, yeah, he has to because that's the reason why Vegeta uses the um the fake moon. Is because he's like, there's no moon on this planet, and it's because Piccolo, like fucking Master Roshi before him, said the only option in destroying the ape without killing the boy is to completely destroy the moon. Fuck the moon phases. And he was right. He was 100% right. He actually, now that I'm talking about that, I just realize, does... I actually don't know. I wonder if Goku warned Chi-Chi that Gohan can't look at the moon. Because otherwise, he's just kind of left his wife with a ticking time bomb of a little boy ape. Who, if he ever looked at the moon, would just absolutely destroy his mother and kill her by accident. I mean, he could always use the Dragon Balls to bring her back, but... I don't know. I don't think he would uh, talk to her specifically. It doesn't seem like a Goku thing to do, but like, oh yeah. No, he didn't know. That's right. He doesn't know that his tail is what causes the, um... He doesn't learn until Vegeta goes ape and goes like, rah, 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 and then Goku says, hey. Okay, so there was no way to warn her. Wow, that sucks. I can't believe... Yeah, I can't believe they did that shit to him. I can't believe they would do that to Gigi, where they're just like, oh. Um, no one gonna tell her that her son is a ticking time bomb to become a murder ape? No? No one told Goku, and now he has a wife, and now he has offspring? I think that's actually... Now, the more that I think about it, that's extremely... Um, ill-conceived. The idea that uh, Goku's friends would never like tell him... It's like, oh, we can't tell him, because he'll now know that he was the one who killed Grandpa Gohan. Grandpa Gohan should have been the one to tell him, honestly, when he was he came back as a ghost for a brief time. Um, there's my first Gohan dupe, by the way. The first drop of the fucking season. It's a 25% chance of actually getting a Gohan from this, because... Dokkan is stupid. I don't understand why Dokkan does this with certain characters over others, but some characters take forever for their fucking unit to drop and i think android 18 is similar i think she actually has a higher of like a 33 33 percent chance or something um but i think it's so stupid that this my software update is right to console i clicked do not disturb for a reason phone i don't know what part of do not disturb you did not understand but either way it's fucked up it's another thing where I assume Toriyama just didn't think about it. Because it is really fucked up, the more I think about it. The idea that, um... They just kind of allowed this man who had the ability to breed an army of monkeys... Of giant moon-smashing up monkeys... Just the ability to one breed without actually telling them, Hey, there's a chance this happens. Now, of course, Pan doesn't get the tail, so... You know didn't end up working, but what if, what if Goku ended up being like a crazy fuck fiend? And he ended up just laying waste to a whole bunch of women and getting them pregnant. They could, he, that could have happened. For all I know, that's like an, a, a rejected script from Toriyama. He's like, alright, for this panel, I wanted to show that in the years gone, he's actually been crazy fiending for that sex. Actually, I actually wonder if, do you ever wonder that, um, the weird fan art of, like, Goku having sex with Sailor Moon is the reason we have, um... People making weird edits of, like, Vados carrying his child. Where it's like, okay... 
I get the joke. Haha, ha, Goku bad dad. Goku bad husband. He wouldn't cheat. He wouldn't suddenly go God and then be like, I'm going to impregnate this angel. It's never... I've never fully understood... Um... The fandoms, I guess, it's thirst for Goku to just go out there and smash a bunch of women. Something to think about. Something to think about for sure. I've only got one goddamn Gohan. That sucks. This game sucks. I, 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 I lower my rating of Dokkan is okay to Dokkan actually is trash. Look at all my bee pans and quiver. I just realized that the Gohan and... Actually, I take it back because this, this, um... This Gohan, I forgot. You're about to see it right now. I don't, I don't know if you've forgotten. This Gohan has the greatest background of any uh, SSR. It's worth the now loading. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah! It's so good. It's also so a Gohan in such a weird way. I can't believe I grinded this guy to SA-15 the hard way. Modern day Wokey would not do that. Modern day Wokey would look at it and go like, Are you out of your fucking mind? You want me to do what for a 25% chance? Get the fuck out of here. I'm not doing that shit. I need two more of these goddamn Gohans and I can be free. Freedom. So anyway, that's the end of today's video everyone. I hope you liked it. I got exactly one fucking copy of what this Gohan. Until next time, everyone. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.